is one of our captains right now, and he's going to test Miller every day. And um, we're really pleased with Colton, not only from an athletic standpoint, but from a mental standpoint. Cable's on him every day. He's learning how to play with Derek Carr, who's doing a lot at the line of scrimmage. He's showing a lot of poise, and obviously uh, he's very talented. John, do you like having a lot of fans here for Chris Jeffcoat, or, or is it a distraction? As long as they're fans. <laughs> you know, I love fans that are, that are rooting for the Raiders. The more the merrier. But all the critics, you know, they, they, uh, they have to sit over there in the cheap seats. Yeah, I love, I love having fans out here at training camp. Coach, how bad have you missed this? And did you feel like a kid in the county store when you got out here today? Yeah, pretty much. My uh, role at the beginning of practice is to let the assistant coaches uh, do the fundamentals, a lot of the techniques that we're coaching, and I had a hard time standing uh, watching. But uh, it's just awesome to be here. It's a great responsibility. I know I have a lot to prove, and I'm eager to do the best I can to do it. When you were here last year, Coach, uh, previously you had two days, now you have one day. How was that different for you and your staff, you know, in terms of uh, building a football team? Well, we still have an afternoon session. We're going to cram a lot of information into our walkthroughs. We're still going to get the reps done. You're just not going to see it at speed. So you got to really encourage your coaches, your players to be wired in mentally. Uh, you have to do a great job above the neck being into it. Even though they're not full speed reps, you can still learn how to get aligned. You can still learn how to communicate. If you need to make a change in the play, you can learn how to do that. Uh, but it's not that much different, really, than it was 100 years ago. Uh, you're just not allowed to bring 150 guys to camp and have three a days. Well, he put in a lot of work uh, physically. He's he's going to get bigger. He's just a pup getting started, and um, he's obviously worked hard. Tom Shaw, our strength staff, has done an excellent job with our young linemen on both sides. We brought in three guys in the trenches in defense, uh, two offensive tackles that need a lot of work in that area, and so far we're very pleased. John, what's uh, PJ Hell's injury? He has a pec strain. Uh, we're going to keep him where he is for a couple days. We haven't seen him. We're not allowed to have contact with these players for a few weeks, so uh, we'll take him through some, some rehab and make sure he's ready to go before we cut him loose. How would you assess uh, your level of involvement with bringing Khalil Mack in there? Is that Reggie's job in their his department? <laughs> Or is that no, it's uh, really, I'm, I'm coaching a team. I'm going to run the quarterback meetings. I'm going to uh, go in there and try to install the plays and get ready for the next practice. You know, Reggie will be able to update you on his situation. He's been in contact with his representation, and hopefully we get him in here soon because uh, he's an exciting player. He's one of, the, one of the best in football. What did you think of your defense besides not having Khalil Mack? I like our defense. You know, I like what we're doing on defense. De our defensive coordinator is really good. Creates a lot of problems. And Bruce Irvin's playing his natural position on an every down basis. I think he's a heck of a player. We've improved our inside pass rush. Uh, we've added a veteran presence. Some people don't like it. Uh, but I like Derek Johnson. I like Marcus Gilchrist. I like guys that know what the heck's going on. And uh, Leon Hall, Reggie Nelson, Emmanuel Lemure, they know this defense as well as Gunther. So they're a handful, and they're going to be a problem for us for the next few weeks. Jordy Nelson, Sam Scott, he looks like the guy he was a couple years yeah. ago. Yeah, he does. Matchup. Yeah, he's wired in. He's, um, he, you can see why he was a security blanket for Rodgers all those years. But he can still run. He's proven to us he can run. We can line him up anywhere we want, and uh, he can run any route we draw up. So we're really encouraged uh, by him. Cooper came back at 223 pounds. So we've got two, I think, dynamic players on the outside. What are your goals for this training camp? My goals? Well, obviously, you like to stay healthy. You like to have your, your team come together and show improvement every day. And uh, I want the competition to bring out the best in these guys, and I believe it will. I think you're going to see some really uh, exciting competitive drills as we put the pads on. John, how much rapport have you built with Derek Carr so far? And is, is he pretty much the guy you expected him to be? And I can't say enough about him. He's uh, he's special. That's all I'll say. I'll let him speak on that. I, I couldn't be more pleased. Um, I've worked with a lot of really great quarterbacks in the past, uh, but this man is, is, is as into football as any guy I've met, and he is talented, man, and smart. How are you and Marshawn? I don't know. He's uh, 
you know, he gives me a hard time a lot. But uh, I love him. I love being around him. If you get to know him, he, he, you understand what I'm talking about. He's a little bit misunderstood to some people, but he's a football player. Uh, a lot of people consider that cliche, but he's all football. He loves it, competes, and um, I'm excited to see him with his pads on playing for the Raiders again. How is he in terms of that aspect of this game? What do you, what do you want him to improve on? Well, I think the play action is going to be dependent on your running game. I mean, if you can run it, you can get some strong play action passes that have a lot of sting. We threw a couple today that were beautiful. Um, but again, if you're running the ball with Marshawn Lynch and you're able to establish that, I think he can be a great play action passer. And I think we've got some some routes and some receivers that can get deep. Hey, Coach. We've been away from coaching for a little while, and they got new technologies and those kinds of things, and social media. How's that affecting, and what changes have you seen on this go round? You know, some of the, it is just new technology. There's a lot of new technology, but it's not better technology. I mean, I got a new remote. I like my old remote better. <laughs> you know, some of this new technology. I, I was a part of that Monday Night Football. They kept bringing me new technology, and the stuff we had was better. So you got to sift through what is better and what is new. And you got to do what's best for your team. So we're trying to do that. Um, but it really hasn't changed that much. It's a hard job. It's a big job. And um, I know I got a lot to prove, but I, I've got a great staff and guys that are keeping me updated with the technology and all the things that are changing. John, when you coached previously, you had two days. You got one practice. How do you cram all your energy into one practice? Well, you got to be creative like uh, we tried to today. We had the horn blowing. We had a TV timeout. We tried to simulate that. We put the ball at the one-inch line. We came out of our own goal line. We had uh, every third pass and seven on seven was third down. We covered a lot of uh, different situations, different personnel groupings. you got to be creative. But at the same time, we still have an afternoon practice. We're going to run 100 reps this afternoon. Nobody wants to watch it because it's a walkthrough. I had to do it just like you did when I was a broadcaster. Every time I'd show up and watch practice, they were having a walkthrough. But you have to adapt, and, and that's what I'm going to do, just like every other coach in the league. And uh, I have been watching what's going on, so I don't consider it a real challenge. What do you think of Arden Keys uh, today? Just a correction, but McCaskill's supposed to be swinging. In the He's a good player, man. He's going to be good. He's going to be really good. If he can go back to the Arden Key two years ago, we we have ourselves an outstanding rusher. Um, He's got a lot to prove, obviously. He's a young player, but. Uh, we're confident in them. Do you think you've earned the respect of your players, or is that I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Uh, I hope so. I'm doing my best, and that's all I'll do. Last week with the rookies and had that event with fans from a personal level. <laughs> what did that do to get you ready for training camp? I just, uh, I do, th- I do stuff like that. You know, I usually when I go out, I don't go out very often, and when I do, I like to be around people that are like-minded. You know, so I go to Ricky's, hang out. You guys should try it. It's, uh, it's a great place, but uh, to associate with the real Raider fans that um, supports you thick and thin, that's, that's good stuff. I think that's good for any anybody before camp. Donald at in his progression? I think he's getting close. You know, I talk to him every day. He's um, obviously working independently with trainers right now, but he's getting close. But he still has to prove that he can change directions explosively and, and, and wake up the next day and do it again and again. What type of from Bryant? What can he bring to the offense? We're still we're still waiting on that. I think it's a work in progress. He's obviously very talented, and he's in a very competitive situation right now. We've got a lot of good wideouts in his camp. Coach, obviously, no Khalil Mack. There's been all this drama in the media. You know, about you guys not talking to each other. Is that normal? Is that, normal? Is that dramatic? Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> consider your consider what's drama. I mean, I don't. I've talked to Khalil. You know, I, I, those guys don't, aren't all, always 100% accurate. I talked to Mac when I got the job. I just haven't had a lot of talk with him lately. <laughs> Not much to talk about right now. Sorry. You talked a bit about Derek so far. What do you want to see you know, out of camp from him? Well, we want to see everybody around him um, play to his level, really. Be comfortable with different speeds. We're going to come out of the huddle. We're going to use a no huddle. We'll change gears a little bit. Give him a little bit of freedom at the line of scrimmage. If he changes the play, everybody's got to know what to do. So we've got to get everybody wired in on the same page. That's a big challenge. And obviously get his feedback on what he likes. 
you really like this play, you love it, you like it, you dislike it, uh, you have a complete understanding of it. So that's a big part of these next couple weeks. Time for two more, guys. John, what uh, attracted you to Tom Cable as a new line coach? Well, I, I've, I've known Cable, his body of work, for a long time. He ticked me off when he was in Atlanta with that uh, outside zone scheme. He's very diverse as a coach. I think he's, he's uh, portrayed as an outside zone guy, but he ran a lot of gap schemes coming up as a coach. He's very versatile. He's a world champion coach. He has ties to this franchise. He's a natural fit, great competitor, and a hard worker. Glad to have him. Do you have any uh, flashbacks today to your first Raiders training camp? I had a few. I had a few when I saw Jerry walk up. <laughs> uh, you know, back in the day, it was uh, pretty pretty hard security to get in here. You know, it's pretty tight. Uh, but it's it's really cool. It's um, it's uh, it's what I came back for, and uh, appreciate you guys being here. Okay, thank you guys. All right, thanks. thanks I couldn't figure out why it wasn't hitting any sound. Now I know why.
A lot of people here. All right, guys, questions for Derek? Derek, where would you say you're at with uh, your progression of learning John's offense and how much further do you have to go? Oh, man, uh, I feel like with him, <laughs> I don't think there's going to be a time over the next 10 or so years where I'm not going to have to have something to learn. Um, he, he pushes me every day. I'm constantly asking him, what do you got for me today? Give me something else, you know, uh, you know, and, and those kind of things. But uh, for where we're at right now, we feel very, very confident that we can go out and uh, execute at a high level. Um, you know, we we get a lot of plays in. You know, I think we get more plays in than anybody in the league. And, uh, you know, just getting those reps as a quarterback, just rep after rep after rep, um, there's really nothing like it. What was the process like in the off season to, to get to this point? Oh man, it was a lot of, a lot of early mornings, a lot of late nights. <laughs> you know, a lot of, a lot of time just spent laying by the pool, studying. You know, all, anything and everything you can think of. A lot of time with my wide receivers, tight ends, running backs. Uh, you know, at just random parks. <laughs> you know, just a lot of, a lot of stuff. Um, we have. That's one thing we have done. That's one thing. As long as I'm here, we will work our tail off. And you know, in the off season, during the season, during practice, all those things, and that's what we did, man. We're just trying to. We want to. We obviously want to be better than last year, but we want to be really good. And you know, we understand that to do that, you have to work really hard. Are you keeping like hours? Uh, to an extent. Yeah. To an extent. I don't know if that man sleeps. I don't know if he slept yet. Um, uh, you know, he he gets up, but yeah, no, I I definitely um, have to. You know, him and I have to be on the same page. Um, him and I have to work. Uh, the hardest out of anybody you know out here. Um, if if the head coach and the quarterback are the hardest workers, you know, usually that's a good recipe for. Doesn't mean it guarantees success, but it's a good recipe. Um, and so, uh, for us to continue to be that way, we you know carry that over from the off season. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I don't I don't know if anything with him surprises you um, you know I I will say this that he has not changed one bit uh, you know since the first time I met him at Gruden's QB camp till first day of actual training camp practice he is the same person and uh, that that says a lot that he doesn't change he's always fiery he loves football he wants to win. He loves his players. He loves his coaches, and he demands from you. I think all of those things are things that I knew about him that day, and things that I know about him here five years later. Derek, we yeah, Colton is awesome. Um, he's really tall. <laughs> uh, to, I think that's the that's the first thing I noticed. Um, very tall, uh, very athletic, can move, can run, and he's strong. They they. You know, he, you can tell that he put in a lot of work in the weight room before he came back. Um, you know, and, and that's for any college kid. You know, I don't care how strong you are, you can always get stronger. And, uh, you know, he put in all that work during that break, and he, he came back, and he's, he's strong and ready to take those bull rushes. As a tall guy, you know that's coming. You know, you know the bull rush is coming. Uh, but he's, he's ready, and he looks, looks really good. Derek, we see, we see Jordan. What did you see in Jordan? Uh, what did you see in Jordy Nelson? What did I see in Jordy? I saw Jordy run good routes. He knew what he was doing. And he caught the ball. You know, he's he's good. I tried to sneak one in on him today uh, a little bit, but uh, you know, for for the most part, we know what Jordy can do. And the thing that you hear about that he can't run anymore, that that's false. Um, I can tell you, he's one of the fastest uh, skill guys that we have still. He can he can run, and you see that. Uh, by his route running, you know, he if he can win on underneath routes, that means DBs are scared of what he can do over the top. So, um, you know, he, he's he's still Jordy Nelson, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Reese is rooting out here, but what's he like in the TV meetings? Is he a little more subdued there? Is he <laughs> no, he's the same. Uh, he's a lot, very energetic. I've had uh, I've had people, you know, come up to me and be like, "What was he yelling at you about in the meeting room?" I said. Oh, nothing. We were talking about good things, you know. He just is energetic all the time, and uh, that's just him. He loves. He is so passionate um, about the game of football. I, I don't think anyone anyone could be mad at that, you know. I don't think anyone can get mad at that. Or so when he demands from you, when he encourages you, encourages you, it's in the same tone every time. So I think that's what we respect about him is that he never changes. He's not going to be this way, and then the next day or next week or next year he's going to be this way like I said earlier for five years he's been the same person every time I see him you know even in between these last five years when I see him you know we're talking about protections or he's talking about a coverage or hey did you see this new blitz or you know it's it, it never changes
Derek, you made it clear that uh, you'll never get into another man's business transactions. Yeah. But can, can we assume that you've been in contact with Khalil Mack and that uh, you, you've helped that you're really eager to get him back and any idea when that might happen? Oh, of, of course. Um, I think it's fair to say we all, we would all love to have Khalil here. That's, you know, I, if I try to answer it politically correct and all those things, we all know that we want him back. Yeah, I think everyone feels that in our whole building. We all know that. Um, you know, when it comes to how things are done and all that, you know, I don't go to that. But I have been in contact with him. He's, he's my brother. We came in the same class. We're going to leave together someday, you know, those kind of things. And, uh, you know, I, I'm fully confident, uh, you know, with where Khalil's at, with where our team's at. And uh, obviously we want him back, but again, I don't, I try not to step into that. I, he, he was over at the house and we didn't talk about it one time. You know, we played pool basketball and I dunked on him, you know, so. <laughs> Is this the, uh, the deepest receiver court that you've been here? You know what, I, I would say, I would say yes, because even the undrafted guys, like, you know, we came in for the pre-camp and <laughs> Coach Gruden told me, he said, if you see some audible, I don't care. They got to, they got to play, you know, they got to know. We're audible and changing stuff, doing these things with, with undrafted rookies that, you know, you know, you would think they're just trying to learn where to line up. You know, what's what's a, what's a so and so route. You know, and we're audible in doing those things. They're on it. They went on their routes. Now, obviously, they have a lot of work to do. They're not all all pros or anything like that. But they all have a chance to be very extremely helpful players. So it'll be fun to watch those guys battle every day. Some catches. What do you see from him last year and his growth until, until now? Yeah, he's he's definitely more confident once you break the huddle. You know, when, when we, you know, last year as a young guy, uh, in terminology, it's tough, man. It's tough for everybody. But having that year to learn, he played a little bit for us. I actually threw him a ball, a deep ball against, I think it was the Giants. Um, and, uh, you know, just, just the fact that I even threw it to him, let him know, like, hey, man, I mean, if you're in there, we got to play, you know. And uh, so I think that that little confidence, you can tell this year, he's kind of like, yeah, you know, I got this. I know what I'm doing. And so as long as he can keep those – those mental errors down because his speed, his athleticism, it's, you know, it's, a, it's elite, man. He's fast. He can go. He can do certain things. He can run all the routes. Um, I think for him, it's just the mental side of things, man. I just got to make sure he's on top of every assignment. He can handle it. He just has to prove it every day. Derek, it seems like Amari always comes back to training camp a little bit bigger, a little bit faster. <laughs> what are your expectations for him this year, and just what have you seen from him through mini camp and up to now? I feel like he came into camp, uh, you know, his rookie year like 16 years old, so he comes back bigger and faster every year. And... You know, it's like, hey, Coop, hey, man, chill out a little bit. You know, don't get too big. Move you to running back or something. But, no, he, uh, I mean, I don't know what else to say about him. He's awesome. You know, he's uh, he's healthy. You know, he looks great. He feels great. Um, you see him catching balls and finishing all the way down to the goal line. You know, he he's practicing on scoring long touchdowns and things like that. And I think that uh, some of that stuff that Jordy brought, some of that stuff Martavis brought, um, you know, just learning from other guys. We have – a whole staff of coaches that have come in and taught me different things that other guys did and all of these things and guys that worked with Peyton and Andrew Luck and all of the, I can go on and on, but anyone who comes in, you learn something like, oh man, that's pretty awesome. I want to add that. And so I think the same things happened for Coop where he's come in better, stronger. He's always in shape. Um, he takes this seriously, but he's also learning some things mentally and some things practice uh, wise that can help. Speaking of uh, Jordy, looks like you've been throwing some for the last five years. How easy has it been to build a rapport with that guy? You know, it's been nice. And, uh, you know, honestly, it was so funny. When we first started, every route's on air. His route was the only one I would mess up, you know. Uh, and then we'd go, to the, we'd go to a team drill or something, and we'd hit it perfectly. And uh, he's just a guy, when, when, it, when it clicks, man, when, you know, now, now it's a little different. But we spent some time in the offseason. But, you know, now when you get out there on the practice field, he's just a guy that it's easy to throw to him because he's open. You know, he, you know, like I said, there's some guys that are good at running some routes, but guy will be there. They're just strong at catching the ball or whatever. He just gets open, and he he is a great route savvy. He's very smart. Uh, you know, he he's always constantly on the coaches. Yell the coverage out. I need to know my adjustment. You know, he, he's pushing he's pushing the envelope that way as well. So, uh, again, I can't say enough good things. I can't believe Green Bay let him go, but I'm glad he's here. Obviously not here. Bruce is. What did you make of his practice on, on the topic of Fulton? What do you think that does for Fulton to go up against him as, as a veteran? Oh man, yeah. Just to go against Bruce every day. You know, Bruce. I tell Bruce, go get the quarterback. You know, you know he's playing DN. We know that. Um, you know, and for Bruce to do that is scary for opponents. So for Col Colton to see that every day, uh, that's going to make him work. You know, uh, Bruce uh, has a similar skill set to what Vaughn can do. 
and some of the other guys can do in our division. So it, it's good for Colton to see, uh, get a taste of that, you know, try and lock that up as hard as it is. Uh, Bruce is a great player. Um, he's one of the best, I think, in the league. Um, we've talked about our division and pass rushers all the time, but uh, to see that every day. And then Bruce, man, he's, he's awesome. I remember when they, you know, when he was a free agent, I just, I was begging him, please get this guy. Like, please, like he is, he is awesome, you know. They asked me his opinion of him. I was a huge fan of his, even since West Virginia. So, uh, you know, I love Bruce, and I think that he's a great player. He's going to have a great year. A couple more questions, guys. We were guys. talking about, um, you know, Colt versus Bruce. Can the same be said with you and John versus Paul Gunther and what Ooh. he throws at you? Is that challenge yes. a benefit to you? I, I know you're trying to learn the system, but is, is that a benefit having a guy like that against you every day? I'm telling you, one of, one of the first things Coach Gruden said to us in the meetings, he said, every day we're going to have to earn our completions. I mean, that... Usually you can go play a team and, you know, say, oh, man, well, they play a certain way. We can throw this all day. Boom, boom, boom. And you go 20 for 25 and move on, you know. Against this guy, he doesn't give up anything for free. You know, you have to earn everything. And the just mental side of things for me and Coach Gruden to go against him, uh, try and figure him out, try and try and gut him, you know, try and give him a bad night's sleep, make his meal taste a little worse at lunch. Uh, that's what we're trying to do every day. And I, I just love that, that mentality. Coach Gruden is on me all the time. And, uh, you know, instilling that, you know, I feel just like I want to kick Coach Gunther's butt every day, you know. Uh, and uh, he, I think he wants to embarrass us as well, you know. And so that, that little rivalry, that little work uh, is the same. But you'll see us all three at dinner together, you know. It's, you know, we're a team, but definitely helps us come the season, man. It, it, Ask any quarterback in the NFL. Coach Gunther is one of the best in the NFL, and it's not even close. He gives you the most problems. He presents the most challenges. He makes you think more than anybody. He, he's he's one of the best, and I'm glad he's here. With this new there. coaching staff, what do you think is possible for this season? Oh, yeah. we just want to win. <laughs> um, you know, what's possible? Anything is possible, right? Who said that? Kevin Garnett. He said that. <laughs> Kevin Garnett said that. Anything is possible. So, um, you know, we just want to win. Uh, you know, I don't ever predict anything. I don't. I don't do that. Um, and honestly, I don't care what anybody else has to say because at the end of the day, me and Coach Gruden are going to go into our office. We're going to study. We're going to come out here, give it our best, and he's going to go correct me. And as long as we can, can get better, I think that we can do some really good things. Last question, guys. Derek, what are some of the things you worked on this off season to help elevate your game to where you feel it should be? Oh man. So I always have a list of things. <clears throat> Once the season ends, obviously I'd never share it, but once the season ends, the coaches give me, um, Coach Gruden, we sit down, watch every mistake, interception, fumble, bad play, bad decision, and you know we, we talk about all those things, so a lot of it is mental. A lot of it is mental stuff on the film. What happened here? Why, why did this happen? Um, was it something you didn't talk about at practice? Was it something that you didn't at lunch mention that you were going to get to this check or whatever, you know, whatever it was, um, was it your footwork? Was it this? And we, I have a list of those things. And as I hit the off season, I train, we have drill work, coach Callahan, coach Olson, they give me, um, that, Hey, do these drills. This is the best thing for you. Those are the drills I do. The, the routes and things I need to throw better. Coach Gruden tells me, Hey, this was an area that you need to throw better. I'm throwing a thousand of them, you know, uh, try and master those. One thing I learned about Peyton Manning, you know, he's, he's really not into, going out and throwing 300 different routes. I'm going to throw two routes if I have to, but I'm going to throw it 300 times. I'm going to master it. And so uh, just learning that, uh, I think Peyton's one of the best. And, uh, you know, just learning that from him was really cool too. Last one right here, Matt. How, how often did you actually meet up with receivers and tight ends while you guys were off? And was it more than yeah. the previous seasons? Uh, previous oh, definitely. Season, I mean. Definitely more, um, you know, which is really nice. And, um, you know, uh, a lot of the guys, they live other places. And... I am not one to take anyone from their family because I would not do that. So, you know, uh, I, I don't like doing that. But a lot of guys stayed close. And we had uh, two spots where we had like really three spots where Connor was working, EJ was working, I was working. And we had different guys in those areas where we were working with them. And so uh, we, we, I, I would say that we were just more calculated. We were more on top of, uh, you know, reaching everybody, making sure we worked with everybody. Uh, making sure we are still pushing the envelope. To play here is not easy mentally. Um, to play here in this system, it's not easy. And so uh, you can't go a whole summer break and not talk about it or else you're going to show up and be lost on day one. And so uh, we saw our guys today. We were checking some things. We were making certain calls that you usually don't make until day four, you know, and we we're doing it. But it's good to see that we can already – we have to. We're already behind. We haven't been together but a couple months. And so – 
uh, we had to do those things. So we definitely worked hard together. The guys bought into spending some time with us, and then we played some golf too, so that was good. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Yep, thank you all. Debut for Mr. Derek Johnson. Go ahead, guys. Not, not used to this many cameras. <laughs> you uh, came into Big Four late, obviously, in the offseason. Since the time you got here and now, you feel like you're, you're up to speed and you're, and you're fully ready to go, or you feel like it's still a process? Uh, it, it's, it's, it's always going to be a process for me uh, just because I came in so late, but uh, I'm a veteran. I've been in the league for it's my 14th year, so uh, I'm, I'm catching up pretty fast. So uh, today I was. Uh, I moved around pretty good, uh, and for me, it's it, it's it's a mental game. So uh, that's 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 going up. Uh, Coach Paul Gunther has really worked with me uh, to get up to speed, and uh, 
uh, today I was I, I was pretty impressed with uh, running around with the young guys. So I'm, I'm up to speed. I just can't wait to be put on the pads. How is he as a uh, teacher, Paul? Um, as a teacher, uh, Paul Gunther is a uh, he, he's a very f fast talker. So uh, at times I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on, slow down, <laughs> slow down, slow down. Uh, but uh, uh, he knows I get it, and uh, uh, he, he's a mastermind when it comes to. Uh, di uh, uh, disguising different defenses, overloading one side, showing a certain look, but playing three and four different coverages out of the same look. He's a, uh, uh, it it's pretty interesting. And uh, uh, since this game is so mental to me now, I'm loving it. It's like being a coach on the field. And uh, I just want to learn it just as well as he, as uh, Paul Gunther knows it, just so I can direct, uh, be a coach on the field. That, that, that's, that, that's my goal. Derek, do you feel you have something to prove with this new stuff? You know what? Uh, playing football, you, you you always have something to prove. Always, always. And when you get to that mo that moment, that point where you, you don't really have nothing to prove, it's time to leave the game. Uh, I haven't won the championship. That's what I'm chasing. Uh, that's that's the ultimate goal. Um, I don't put I don't want to put anything in front of that. And uh, it, you know, today's the first day of training camp, so. We got a long way till we talk about championship, but uh, that's got to be the goal. That's got to be the reminder of why we do what we do out do do what we do out here on the field. Now, are you one of those players who would say Chiefs week? That's just one more game out of 16 in the year, or do you admit like that's going to be a big deal? No, it's uh, it's 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 just it's just one week, uh, but everybody knows I <laughs> I've played there for a while, so uh, uh, we'll get to that when we get to that. Man, uh, John Gruden's a special coach. Uh, he's kind of like a player on the coach, uh, on the field. He's a uh, he's very energetic. Uh, he's loud. He, he's talking. He's talking noise. He's talking trash. Uh, he's a guy that uh, he wants to win. You can see his passion. And uh, as a player, um, um, I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. He's all in. Uh, um, Man, it's, it's, it's a different kind of sense of urgency uh, that we have uh, going out to practice on the first day. It's, uh, it, it's pretty exciting. How involved would you say he gets in the coaching at all? Is it just a matter of trash talking? Does he correct you guys at all? You know what? He's uh, John Gruden's an offensive guy. So, uh, uh, you know, at times uh, you don't want to go against the offense out there, but at times it's, you know, it's scripted sometimes. You know, he, he has us in some bad situations. So, when they hit us on a certain play, I look at them like, man, you put us in a bad situation right there. But it, throughout the uh, um, training camp, there's going to be some times where uh, um, they're in bad situations or, or in a backed up situations where the percentages is on our side. So uh, it, it, it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. He's, he's, a, he's an offensive, offensive guru, and uh, uh, it, it's fun going against the offense throughout, throughout the practice. Derek, it looks like uh, defense had a good day at the office. What, what does that do for your group going forward and just to kick off camp that way? Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be certain days where defense is going to dominate. Uh, not saying we dominate today, but there was a few plays. Justin Bruce Irvin, uh, I mean, strip fumble, uh, got a pick today, so he made a little money today. So uh, that's pretty good. That those are those are uh, uh, momentum changing plays. That's what we need being on defense. And uh, when you can create habits like that. Throughout training camp, good things happen for you on Sunday. On what's it been like working with him so far? I know you haven't been here for very long, but what you've seen from him, what it's like been working with him, stuff like that. Man, uh, I put Bruce Irvin in, 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 in Justin Houston's class and Tom Lee's class, th those type of guys. A guy that's a very energetic, big guy that can run and and drop him off in coverage. Uh, Bruce Irvin is uh, he, he's pretty interesting. He's he's a guy that's. Uh, uh, Pretty explosive, uh, smart. Um, I mean, I've known him because he's in the, in the same uh, conference, so I, I, I've known him for years. But uh, to actually witness it on the field, uh, he's a pretty special guy. Speaking of uh, edge guys, I know players don't talk about other players' contract issues, but you've seen Khalil Mack for a couple of years. When you look at the way this defense operates and what you've seen from Irvin, what kind of juice will he add when he gets here? Well, you know what? Um, um, uh, when we get all the guys in uh, uh, for the season right now, I'm going to talk about Bruce Irvin and the guys, the edge rushers we have right now. But uh, when we add 
uh, the other special guy, uh, it'd be even more special. So, uh, but right now we, we're going to work to get better, and uh, 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 when he comes in, we'll be ready to go. Have you talked to Khalil at all? No, I have not. Young guy who plays in the middle. So again. Lee. What have your impressions been so far of, uh, of Markel Lee, another young guy who plays in the middle there? Like, so the name again? Markel Lee, uh, 55 linebacker. Markel. Markel. Yeah. I thought you said it was real. Okay, Sorry. Markel. Yeah, that's my guy. Uh, 55. Um, I, I call him by numbers right now, but Markel's a guy that's um, um, big. Uh, I mean, look, looks like Tarzan. I mean, he's a, <laughs> he's very shredded up. I mean, tall. Can run. A uh, uh, smart guy. Me and him have been uh, switching in and out on base, and then uh, um, on nickel, I will come in. So it's a, it's a, it's a. We're taking this thing by committee, and uh, we got some special young guys, really special young guys. And uh, uh, I, I'm, I, I'm always putting that coach's hat on uh, when I see certain things out there. Not that I have the defense down packed, but there's certain things on the field where you say, "Hey, Markel, do this next time," or. This will be easy on you, or take your chance right here because because you have the freedom to. A couple more guys. The Raiders have a history of giving guys second chances. Do you think you fit into that category? Yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, I, I'm glad to fit into that that category. Uh, um, it second chances are always uh, uh, needed. Uh, uh, I, I wouldn't call myself a second chance, but. Uh, it's just another chance to get better and, and to chase a ring. At the end of the day, I'm a, I'm a, John Gruden loves a veteran players, so uh, bless him for that, and, I, and I'm, I'm happy to be here. Ben? All right, thanks, guys. Cool. Thanks. All right. Thanks for your time. Yeah.
what up, what up? Question for Tyre, guys. Tyre, it looks like Keith has had a good day today, but specifically through serving. What's it like been working with him? Oh, it's amazing. High energy guy. You know, go hard. You know what you're getting every day. Uh, you know, we had a great day today. You know, it's, it's going to be a lot of back and forth, you know, through our training. That's the only way we're going to get better as a team. I think the last time we talked to you was on that first conference call. What are your just impressions of the line back and forth? Athletic, you know, just uh, hungry. You know, we show up ready to work every day, just trying to, you know, get better as a group. You know, as an individual, you know, as a team, you know, that's that's our goal, you know, just keep pushing each other, try to go out here every day and compete. Do you feel your versatility allows you to kind of slide into any position they need you? Almost definitely. In this league, you know, being versatile, you know, it, it definitely helps. It goes a long way. And that's what allowed me to get to this point in my career, you know, just being able to cross train, be able to understand the defense, being able to, you know, be able to be plugged and play wherever, you know, the team needs them. There's some young linebackers in this unit, Markel among them. What, what jumped out to you about some of the youth at the linebackers? Like I stated earlier, you know, they're hungry. You know, they're, they're, uh, all of the young guys, they're like sponges, you know, just trying to just feed, you know, just take up all of the information possible, you know, asking questions, whether it's, you know, to myself, you know, Derek, you know, Coach Lip, you know, whether it's, you know, um, you know, anybody, they, you know, whoever they can get their hands on, whatever they have a question about, they're making sure that they're getting those questions answered. Tyron, a league that um, often phases out veteran players, maybe prematurely. Gruden's always been a guy who likes veterans, wants them here, wants them in, wants self-starters. How does he empower veterans to do their job? You know, he, bring, he brings he uh, brings veterans in for a reason. You know, we have experience. You know, we've played football, we've been around. Uh, you know, it's not our first rodeo. So you, know, you 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 definitely have to have that mix of you know veteran guys along with the young guys because at the end of the day, uh, I think you know it, that experience in itself it goes a long way. And you know when you have guys that's been there that's played a lot of football, you know it definitely helps the team. What kind of opportunities does Paul Bender's Oh, it, it, multiple, you know, multiple opportunities. It's mixed, you know. He he keeps it, you know, interesting. So, you know, I'm I'm excited about you know playing in this game and going out there letting the rip. You're pretty vocal on the field out here, even though you're coming into a new team. Do you see yourself as as a leader, someone who sort of has to step into that role? No, I'm I'm just being me. You know, that's who I am. You know, as a player, you know, I'm going. You're gonna hear me. You know, whether I'm out there, I'm on the defense and I'm calling plays and I'm calling out what the offense is doing, what we're doing on uh, defense. You know, the biggest thing is communication. When you communicate, you know, uh, as a whole on defense, you know, you, you put yourself in the right position to go out there and execute. And then I like to have fun. You know, I'm going to go out there. I'm going, you know, talk back and forth to D.C. and the offense. You know, I'm going to let Gruden have it a little bit, you know, when we're having good days, you know. But you know, that's it's all part of the game. You know, it's competitive. You know, and I love the game. I love the game. It would be strange for you at all the first opponent you'll see is the Lions. I mean, they'll be here in a couple days. What do you think that'll be like for you? It's going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be fun to say the least, you know. Uh, a lot of uh, the guys that I play with are still there. So, you know, it's, it's the nature of the league. You know, you end up other places, but you create relationships and bonds with people. And, you know, that doesn't go away just because you're on the new team. So it's going to be good to see them. But at the end of the day, they know how I'm coming. And I know how they're coming. So, you know, they, they know they you know, we got to work. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know he 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 yeah he he agree, he's open like that. You know he's the players' coach. He's a great guy all around. You know high energy guy. What you see is what you get. You know if you're messing up, he's gonna let you know. If you're doing good, he's gonna let you know. So I like that aspect about him is that you know he, he gives you the ability to be yourself and you know don't have a bunch of rules. Just you know be 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 a professional. How different is he than your last? Um, they they love football. Yeah, you know, I, I can't really say. You know, they they love football. Are you eager to get Khalil Mack in here? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I, all I could really worry about is uh, myself and the guys that's here. You know, I let that's above my pay grade. You know, I let them work that out. Obviously, John Gruden is a big offensive guy. He knows the offense inside and out. How how, you ever see, how much do you see that like spill over the defense? How much do you see it like like getting in, getting his fingers in what the defense? Is? You know, he, uh, he, he just tries to take a step back and allow his staff to do their job. You know, he, 
he's an offensive guy. He tries to just, you know, hone in on the offense and making sure that they're doing well, you know. But uh, Paul Gunther, he, he does a great job of getting us squared away, making sure we're where we need to be and we understand exactly what our job entails and how we need to execute. Tyre, the NFL uh, put in the new rule about not being able to lower your head in any circumstances. Do you understand? Do you have clarity on that rule? You know, there's always kinks, you know, things to be worked through, but, you know, we just have to, you know, keep that dialogue going and, you know, that, that open line of communication. And so we as players understand to the T exactly what they're expecting of us because ultimately is it makes it harder as a defensive player, you know, the rules that's being uh, stated in the, in the league now. But, you know, it's, it's the nature of the game. You know, they try, we, you, you first and foremost, you know, playing linebacker, you know, I'm, I'm more prone. I always have to hit people, so I'm going to make sure that first I take care of myself and you know the other guys. So you're not out there trying to intentionally hurt anyone. So you definitely want to make sure you, you know, abiding by the rules. Maurice first, number 73. He's a fifth round pick, but not a typical fifth round pick in terms of his football talent. What have you seen from him thus far this offseason? First and foremost, like great guy. That's, that's that's the first thing you notice about him. He's a great guy, always smiling, you know, up in spirits. But when you see him get on the football field, he he hits the switch and he's he's going. He's athletic, he's athletic. He's explosive, you know. He's he's all over the place, and that's what I love about him. He shows up with that workers mentality, and you know, he just just go out there and let it let it all you know let it rip on the field. Were you more comfortable, were you more comfortable with him or familiar with him rather, just because of Michigan and? Have you watched more Wolverines when you're? Nah, uh, uh, they they typically playing when we're playing on the season, and you know I'm I'm typically studying. You know, during the year, I'm not really watching too much football, no, uh, no TV and all that stuff. You know, I have a few shows that I watch, but I try to limit it because you know it's it's go time during the year, and I try to stay focused. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, John. Yep.
been like so far in your impressions of him? Um, it's been going uh, really well. Uh, um, going against him and Mike um, have really benefited me so so far. I'm trying to protect or uh, hold my craft um, as much as I can going against those guys. And um, I'm really excited for Sunday when the when the pads come on because you don't you know you don't really know uh, how guys are going to be until you get those pads on and. Um, it's just another level, so I'm really excited for that. Going against him every day, just how do you think that'll make you better um, regular season? Um, I mean, I think it can only help me. He has a lot of tools that you know he, he uses, uh, a lot of moves, um, which means you have to really uh, hone on your craft and not not. Uh, he he wants you to mess up, so that's that's something that you know you have to focus on and and uh, make sure you don't because uh, then then it can get you. Do you get caught between plays if he gets you on a certain rep? Go to the side with them and be like, "Hey, what are you seeing there?" I'm not a real talkative, talkative guy. <laughs> <laughs> are, is, are, I'm sorry. Are you swimming in the playbook a bit still, or do you feel like you have, have are you comfortable with the mental part of that? Um, yeah, I feel a lot more comfortable, uh, you know, making calls. And um, I think today I, I was I was pretty vocal out there. Um, but yeah, I'm still. Uh, I should say these past couple days uh, was good for us rookies, um, you know, being here and, and just having uh, me, Cameron, uh, Jordan, and uh, and Brandon. It was just us guys, and we were running through the plays, and, you know, we were all the calls were on us, the whole practice. You know, I think that was really good for us. Um, but, yeah, I'm still on my playbook. Uh, I don't really spend too much time on anything else. I'm just, <laughs> whenever I have the free time, I'm in my playbook. Did you, uh, did you bulk up a little bit in this time off? At what point are you in your process where you'd like to be? Um, you know, I'm, I'm working hard right now. I, I did add uh, a little bit of weight, which um, I'm happy about. But, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I, I feel good where I'm at right now. I feel uh, I can still move well. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep working hard. How much weight did you actually gain? Uh, I don't – I mean, it varies. I mean, you could, you could lo- uh, gain three, four, and then lose it in one practice. Uh, I don't really have a specific number. Are there any of the veteran alignment who you've been leaning on particularly? Um, yeah, recently, uh, I mean, Gabe, uh, uh, especially Donald Penn, um, uh, that happened a lot. You know, in the spring, uh, you know, I'd be in the back and he'd tell me, you know, you could be doing this and, um, you know, setting back. And, um, yeah, he has, he has a lot of tips, you know, for me, uh, especially him being ex- as experienced as he is. Do you think it's going to be an active effort to try to keep that weight on? Because a lot of guys might have a certain weight, and then once camp hits, it's right. tough to keep that those pounds on. Right. That's that's important. Uh, nutrition. Nutrition is really important um, to keep that weight on. I'd, I'd agree. Uh, nutrition and hydration. Uh, that's something I've been on top of. A lot of have energy on the field. Did you feel that today? What was your interaction with him today? I don't. Man, there's not really a time that I ever see. John Gruden not excited. Um, he's he's just a guy that can pump you up. Uh, whenever you're around him, you just feel energetic. Cool. With, uh, with Donald still recovering from his foot injury, but do you feel like these for these early days are sort of an opportunity for you to show how much you've learned and how much you picked up while you're working with the first team out there? Um, yeah, there's. Uh, I feel you know we're, we're all trying to get better, and we're all uh, uh, of course. There's a, a two rotation or a three rotation going on right now, so yeah, you'll have more reps and you can you can get better from that.